G'day gel ballers, it's Duncan here from Wide Bay Warriors. Today we've got a few sets of knee pads that we've been running. Um, we'll give you a bit of an opinion on them, costs and stuff like that, and um, it'll help you guys hopefully make a choice when you come to buying them. So guys, today we have some killer pads. They're the 187 Killers. We have Vision Streetwear and we have the, what are they, they're the Triple Eights. So, all of these knee pads are pretty much of a muchness. They um, do range a little bit in varying price and stuff like that. So this is the Killers and they're the 187s. You can see that written there. Um, these ones here have a top Velcro. They have a bottom that's actually a uh, sliding, what would you call that? Strap. Uh, strap. Um, and it also, does this? Yeah, it does. Has a pocket that you can put your leg through. Um, these are reasonably wide. You've got four points that actually keep them on with the press studs or whatever studs you want to call them here. Um, they're an actual decent for sliding and stuff like that, like uh, pad. The fact is, is that they are quite bulky though to run around in. Um, what else would you say? They're, they're pretty well padded though. Yeah, I mean, even if you hit them on the side, you're still pretty well padded against. Yeah. Um, the, the actual construction of them are pretty good. Um, what have you had these now? Six months? Give or take. And they're still in really good nick. Um, the next ones we have, uh, oh, actually, just to let you guys know, um, killer pads, pretty much they're getting sold at most of the gel shops now and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you can buy them at your skateboard places and stuff like that and all the rest of it. You can buy them online. They are pretty readily available. Um, they're about, the killers are about 70, 80 bucks. Yeah. Give some, or take. Some places have been selling them for like 100. Uh, so oh, really? The... Okay. Uh, I stand corrected. We'll go up to about a hundred dollar mark on them. If you're lucky, you might get them on special. These are the Vision Streetwear. Um, I'll tell you straight up that these are a bit cheaper. Um, they were the Anaconda are doing these at the moment. Um, my daughter's running these at the moment. Same sort of deal. They have the top pad, uh, top pad, top Velcro, should I say? goes around, sticks on, bottom Velcro, this one's actually got a loop on it that you can see there, goes through the loop and then pulls back and tightens up. And again, it has the um, flexible material that you put your legs through and stuff like that. Um, honestly, these are pretty good. I actually don't fit into them and stuff like that. She actually likes these a lot at this point in time. She had the, um, the triple eights before and she actually prefers these over the triple eights. Um, again, these have got actual three stead uh, studs that actually keep them on. The padding's actually pretty good. It's pretty hard to show you the padding because it's black and black and stuff like that. But they are pretty good. They seem to be a bit more padded up the top, a little less on the bottom. And I dare say it's just to keep it on the actual knee itself. Um, these are the triple eights. Triple eights are again getting sold pretty much at all your um, gel shops and stuff like that now. Um, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to get them in your skateboard shops and stuff like that. These are actually a lot skinnier in the width of them and stuff like that. Do they work? I wear them at the moment. I don't mind them at all. Again, probably the most basic out of the lot to actually attach them. It's literally just the two. There's no D little tight and tensioners and stuff like that. And again, you've got the bits to actually put your leg through and stuff like that. Um, I don't mind these because they are skinnier. Um, I don't slide. I sort of go on my knees and move forward and stuff like that just because I'm older. I've never had an issue with these and stuff like that. Um, the price of these are about the $80 mark or something like that, probably as much as the killers and stuff like that. You can buy these also in sets of elbows and knees. 
I'm thinking that that'll bring them up a bit more in price. I don't know. Um, but I have seen packs where they've sort of sold the knees and elbows and stuff like that. Um, I don't have elbows here at all. I don't wear elbows. Um, in other videos, you would have seen that we actually, well, I'm running with the actual full arm guards. Um, out of all of these, they all do the same thing. They all protect your knees. They all do a pretty decent job of protecting your knees, really. Mm. Um, you can put them over your clothes, under your clothes, whichever way you want to run them and stuff like that. Um, obviously, if you're running them over, you're going to have to have a bit of a wider leg on them and stuff like that. Um, I actually always run them over my pants and stuff like that, or just when I'm wearing shorts. Never been an issue. Um, so guys, they're the three pads that we've got. Um, they're the ones that we're running. Like I said, the reality of them, any one of these three are a good pick. Probably value for money. I'd probably go the Vision, just because they're a bit cheaper and they're actually made quite well. Um, guys, that's the review today. Thanks for watching. As usual, give us a like and subscribe. You've probably done worse out there and subscribe to us, so give us a shot. Thank you guys for watching.